Okay, so we just started recording this, and so now we're going to go into the TOEFL book, and yes. we were talking, last time we were talking about the, the Renaissance architecture, and so we got all the way down to the last paragraph. Yes, last paragraph, yes, last. And so if you remember, the, the reading strategy that we're practicing is we, we read it, we take notes and then we practice summarizing it, right? yeah. practicing the three R's. Okay, so why don't you, did you get a chance to make notes about the final paragraph? A uh, final paragraph. Uh -huh, the final paragraph. A uh, final paragraph. Uh -huh, yes, uh, I haven't thought of the summarizing of the final paragraph. Okay, well if you remember, you had those notes. Right. You had those notes that you were making. You made notes for the second paragraph, yeah. and you also made notes for the third one, which was really good. So why don't you go ahead and open that document, and let's take a look at that and make notes for the fourth paragraph. Make notes about the fourth paragraph. Mm -hmm. so, uh, sure, yes. So I should... Uh, you can go into screen share. Yeah, screen share, yes. Yeah, I should... Screen share, yeah. So I just turned on my screen share, sure. Okay, okay. Yes, yes. Okay, so we got the notes ready. So let's go ahead and take a look at page 170. Yes. And we're going to go ahead and practice reading some of this. And then we'll make the notes. So we have perhaps the end shadow reading. So we have perhaps. The second most influential architect of the Renaissance was. Donato Bramante, whose work is typical of what is called High Renaissance architecture. The High Renaissance took the High Renaissance period took place during the late 15th and early 16th centuries and is characterized by an almost universal mastery of classical forms <laughs> by architects from all over Italy. Okay, so try those two sentences. Yes. Perhaps the second most influential architect of the Renaissance was Donato Gramate, whose work is typical of what is called High Renaissance architecture. The High Renaissance period took place during the late 15th and early 16th centuries, and is characterized by an almost universal mastery of classical forms of architects from all over Italy. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and make some notes about those first two sentences that we read. And yeah, sure. And I think the the key point is the second most influential architect. And mm -hmm. and he is a he is a Donato uh, Donato Bramante. Mm -hmm. And I think that um, I think that so. Other important thing is that, uh, yeah, the high Renaissance architecture, the trade of the high Renaissance, the trade of the high Renaissance architecture, and the uh, high Renaissance architecture trade is the trade is the uh, almost universal uh, is characterized by an almost universal mastery of classical forms. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so we have, you know, the person, right? We have the person, uh, Donato. Then we got, well, what are we talking about? The high renaissance. And then what is the characteristics? Then we got the universal mastery of the classical uh, architecture or forms. I think one other uh, detail that you could add is the time period, which is from the 15th century into the 16th century. 15th century and 15th century, right? Mm -hmm. And Donato, uh, he's the uh, he's the second sec second uh, second influencer, second the most influencer architecture, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. new influencer architecture uh, in Renaissance. 
Right. Yeah, you don't even have to write Renaissance because we know this whole story is about Renaissance. So, but R R S is okay. Yes, and and uh, and his and his his work is typical of the high Renaissance architecture mm -hmm. and high high Renaissance architecture is the also important high Renaissance architecture. Architecture. It's also an important thing, and I wanna explain the trade of the high Renaissance architecture. Mm -hmm. Trade of, trade of, high. Yes, I <laughs> oh, no, no. Renaissance architecture. Sure, yes. Uh, no. Yes, no. Well, remember the the spelling is not important, especially when you're making notes. Yeah. It's it's not essential. Yes, and yes, and the title is yes, and the trade of the trade of trade of it is that mm, it 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 is very uh, it is very mm, yes, uh. It starts from the late 15 and 16. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so this, so this flow, this flow is started, started from uh, late, late 15th century, mm -hmm. from early, early 16th century, mm -hmm. like this. There you go. I like the abbreviations you use. L for late. Yeah. E for early, right? Yeah. Those are some good good methods for strategies for making notes. Yeah, right. And second is characterized mm -hmm. characterized um, characterized uh, characterized by universal universal Oh, I guess how I why why do like this? Universe the mastery of classical classical forms. Mm -hmm. uh, by uh, by Italy by Italian. Well, Italian yeah, architecture. Yeah. So when when they say universal, that means like everybody had the same level of architecture yeah. skill and quality. Yeah. Because what 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 one of the differences is that when because before we were talking about uh, Filippo Brunelleschi, right? Yeah. And so when he was when he basically started the Renaissance architecture in Florence, Italy, you know, he, it, nobody else could match what he did right because he was the first one so everybody else was trying to kind of catch up yeah. with his skill levels in recreating Renaissance architecture but after about a hundred years a lot of other people had a chance to practice and learn the techniques of Renaissance architecture so what that means is that their skill level also was raised and so by the time it ended in, in the 16th century, everybody had the same level of skills. And that's what they're saying, is, is the universal mastery of the classical forms. Uh, so you mean that the uh, universal mastery classical form is the after the 16th century? Well, at, uh, you know, from that period where it says late 15th uh, uh, century to early 16th century. Uh, so the high Renaissance period is the period is the what the late 15th century and 16th right early 15th century and in that and uh, in during this period the universal mastery of universal mastery of classical forms mm -hmm. in in Italy you mean right? In Italy and and what I'm saying is that just to explain the universal mastery 
all that means is that everybody was able to have the same skill levels by that time but in the beginning you had some people that were very good but then other people had a very poor quality in Renaissance architecture because they didn't understand it uh, so I I asked some explanation of universal mastery of classical forms a uh, universal mastery oh yeah I mean it's that's I'm just explaining what what that means uh, because, yeah. because we're, we're going from a transition from the beginning of Renaissance in Italy and now this it's no longer the beginning now it's matured Mature. the Renaissance architecture has matured by the late 15th and early 16th century uh, yes, yeah, so, yeah, everybody has the same levels of Renaissance architecture yeah. yeah everybody can do it really well now which is mm -hmm. a good thing yes right so uh, yes that, uh, that, that, that means that that means that, uh, oh yes, I understand. Mm. I, I mean, it's it. I mean, I guess one way to look at it would be like English in South Korea. So probably you know, thirty years ago, you had some students that were quite good in English. But these days, much much <laughs> more students, many more students, are good in English because uh. everybody keeps practicing. And I think the Korean government at some point, I mean, that's, this is the only reason why I can see why they continue to, you know, have students learn English at a very young age. They basically want the entire population, I think, to be fluent in English. I, I, I would think that's what the, the goal is. Mm -hmm. And so, but right now, it's still not quite there. But if they continue to do it, eventually, the entire population is going to be good in English, so, and so it's the same thing with the Renaissance. Uh, the same thing, yes. So, uh, yes, I understand. Because but you, I mean, you look at it, it. Took it took almost a hundred years to do that. Yes, hundred years. Uh, yes, right. So, well, let's do this. Let's you you made the notes here. Now let's go ahead and practice summarizing. Mm -hmm. The first two sentences, what is that about? Mm. Uh, yes, I started. Yes, I started. Mm -hmm. Donato Bramante is the second most influential architecture in Renaissance. His start works, his start works is high Renaissance art, is a typical of high Renaissance architecture. <laughs> and the trade of the architecture. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The high Renaissance architecture was started from the late 15th century to the 1950 uh, to early 16th century, and it is characterized by universal mastery of classical forms by Italian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. That's, that's right. That's right. So now let's let's just try it one more time. And why don't you? You don't have to do it so fast. You can take your time with it. Right? Yes. Uh, yeah. So. Started, we started now. Mm -hmm. Try it one more time. Donato Bramante was the second most influential architecture in Renaissance, in Renaissance, and his artwork was based on the High Renaissance architecture. And the High Renaissance architecture was started from the late 15th century to early 16th century, and. They are character. They were characterized by universal mastery of classical forms of forms by Italian. Mm -hmm. Now, one way that we can sort of change the organization of our summary is sometimes we can have different. We can organize the information in a different way. So, if you notice in the story, that the organization was first they talked about who, which was uh, Donato. Then, <coughs> then they talked about what the high renaissance architecture then the date and then the character but we can also change it too right so how about how about talking first about the character so for example um, <coughs> you know the high renaissance architecture is characterized by universal mastery of the classical forms of uh, classical forms of the renaissance architecture this happened during this period and 
Donatello was the most influential person during this period. Uh, right? so yeah. we, we just we saying the same thing, but we just changed it around, right? So how about trying it that way? Yeah, sure. Uh, high rare, high rare science architecture have happened from late fifteenth century to early sixteenth century. At this at this period, Donatello Bramante was the second most most influential architecture in Renaissance, and his artworks were based on the typical of high Renaissance architecture. High Renaissance architecture was were characterized by universal mastery of classical forms by Italian. Italian. Uh, I think, yeah, right. Yeah, you got all the information. So it's a good way to you know practice because a lot of times when you do summary. Uh, yeah, you gotta do it multiple times, and sometimes it's it's good to just kind of change it up to to make it interesting. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and continue reading the next part of the paragraph. So we have often cited as a near perfect piece of high Renaissance architecture, Bramante's Tempietto. So Bramante's Tempietto was built on the supposed place where St. Peter was killed in ancient times and is thus the most sacred site in Rome. The small round monument was built in an explicit imitation of ancient Rome temples. Okay, so let's try those two. Yeah. Hmm. Often cited as a near perfect piece of high Renaissance architecture. Bramante's Tempietto was built on the supposed place where St. Peter was killed in Asian times, and is thus the most sacred site in Rome. The small round monument was built in an explicit imitation of an ancient Rome temple. Uh, okay, so let's again, same, those two sentences, let's try to identify the key information. Yes. Yeah, so Key information is the um, Bramante Tempietto, mm -hmm. and they explain about it and built in the built on the built on the sacred place, a sacred site. Uh, Saint Peter was killed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Saint Peter was killed. Yeah, yeah. So they're talking about the location, right? Location and the lastly, mm, imitating imitation of Asian Roman temples. Mm -hmm. so, ex explicit imitation. Right, right. Asian so we're, we're going temples. back to the classical form, right? The mastery of the classical forms, and so that sentence explicit imitation of ancient Rome temples, right, we're going back to the classical forms. Yeah, classical forms. Right. So, okay, so go into your, into your notes, right, and now you're ready to jot down the key information. Uh, yeah, right. Oh, uh, well, where is it? Oh, you do control Z. Control Z, yeah. and uh, I think I should need more, uh, how can I do it? Oh, no, control Z again. Okay, so you gotta go out. If you click outside the box, on the right side, click outside the box on the right side. Yes. On the right side. Uh, on the right side. Uh huh. Okay, now press enter. Enter. There ah, you go. yeah. In that way. Mm -hmm. And enter too. Right there. Mm -hmm. So, by. Yes, in five sentences. Ah, uh, yes, I, I think I'm just doing it like this. Uh, no, no, I I'm doing it like this. So, Bramante, I started now. Bramant. Oh, where is it? Yes, Bra Bramante. Tempietto.
Yeah, yeah, so yes. Uh, so remember, in the notes, spelling doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter because you're, the whole reason you do notes is because you got to get it down quickly. So you don't you don't care about sentences, grammar, or spelling. Yes, and tempesto. Mm -hmm. And the other thing, the other thing, the most sacred class, sacred place in Rome. Long with I, uh, no, 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 I, I, I need, I need not to it yet. Where, where the Peter was here, was here. This, in this, in this way. And, uh, and, Adapted, yes, and second change is this. Adapted, ah, uh, I'm the right as well. Adapted, uh, ima, imitation of, imitation of the uh, ancient Roman temples. Okay, so let's go ahead and press save on this. Yeah, save. Now you have to be careful because this this note here, just to let you know, this is this is for a different story because remember we have prior knowledge plus information. That was for insights. And so this is from the previous story. Yeah, previous story. Mm -hmm. And so the, the notes that you're making on here, this is paragraph four, but you're you're it's you're using a different document. Ah, yes, it's right. different. So I, I so you're I, gonna have to copy paste it into the other one because maybe a couple of days later, yeah. you're gonna you're gonna look at and you're gonna maybe forget. Oh, where where's my notes? Do, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So, so you mean that save it, save it to so, so you can explain one more, one more time. Well, you this 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 part of the notes. Yeah. You're using it for a different story. Yeah. You because we said large code of ethics in the field of art conservation, yeah. interventive preventative. That story was the art restoration and conservation. Art restoration and con conservation. Ah, so I should change the title. Or you, you have to copy and paste it because remember you also made notes for paragraph two and three in, ah, in ah. a different document. Ah uh -huh, yes, that's right. a different document. Right. So as long as you make note of that, right? So you you want to make sure that. Ah uh, yeah, sure. I uh, I understand. So that way, you know, you you'll know when you open it. Oh, okay. I know where to look for it. Right. That's that's the key. And and I. Uh, and I find uh, this this part this part, I think. And like yeah, this. That's the one. There you go. Oh, why is oh why is this is moved? Maybe it, um. Hmm. Oh, why is why is like this? Well, you so you don't. I mean, as long as you know what to do, so you know part of it is on that other page. So you just have to copy and then paste it into the page you have there. Good. So what I'm gonna do is just take a pause on this part. Yeah. So when we come back on Monday, then we'll just kind of practice summarizing, yeah. and then we'll answer the questions on page 169. Yes. Yeah. All right. So let's uh, call it the night. So you have enjoy the rest of your weekend, and then I'll see you on Monday.
Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah. Have a good one. Bye.